I'm Tammy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I have my friend Ashley here. Um, it's November. Time to be entertaining. Today we're going to make a tarragon stuffed chicken with a brandy infused pan gravy, some spaghetti squash, and broccoli. And it's going to be delicious, fabulous, and it came in right at $10. So before we get started, again, the important things. Ashley, what do you have on? I have on a Ralph Lauren dress that I actually got at the Salvation Army for $8. Excellent. And of course, my fabulous shoes are my Kate Spades, $3. My biggest, best price ever. Kate Spade is like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Okay, my skirt, I got my outfit from Goodwill. My skirt was $1.99. My top was 99 cents. My shoes are $3.99, so not bad. And I actually found these two pieces at two totally different stores, and I was able to match it up. And this has got a little bit of a peplum, which is in the season. Okay, so I'm actually not going to cook today. I'm going to instruct Ashley. So the first thing we have to do, because we're working with raw chicken, is put our gloves on. So the easiest thing to do when you're doing a chicken is... Um, we're going to put butter on the outside, but we're going to put a little bit of butter under the skin. So what you want to do is you want to kind of loosen the skin. Okay. That does feel a little weird. <laughs> and then put this in there. Okay. You can just kind of smush it around with your fingers. That's why the gloves. And then you can take some butter and rub it on the outside. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then you can just kind of... Just throw that in there. Yeah, yeah. Just throw it in there. What the heck? It's butter. What the heck? It's butter. <laughs> it's holiday season. <laughs> and then all we're going to do is we've got some parsley and some tarragon sprigs, and you're just going to take all of that and just stuff it right into the uh, cavity. And that's going to cook for about an hour. Have you ever done? Uh, have you ever cooked spaghetti squash? No. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Okay, this is a spaghetti squash. Um, I actually already cut it in half. Um, cut it in half. These are really hard to cut through. Some people will pierce it and cook it whole in the oven. So, um, but anyway, I, I cut it, scooped out the seeds. All we're going to do, and you can do this to any winter squash, any kind, acorn squash, butternut, anything. And all you're going to do is um, brush the inside and the outside with um, some olive oil. Spaghetti squash. And it'll come, what it'll look like when we're finished is spaghetti. It'll look like spaghetti. Uh huh. And literally, you can, uh, you could dress this up with all kinds of different seasonings and everything, but olive oil, salt, and pepper is actually the only thing you need for any of these squashes. And then when this cooks, we're going to take our fork and scoop it, and it's going to come out like spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> okay, and we're going to flip this thing over and cook it for about 30 minutes. Our chicken is roasted. All we did was we pulled it out of the pan, put it on a platter, and Ashley's going to make the gravy now. So this is all the juices that cooked with the chicken. We're going to let that heat up a little bit, and then you're going to take this flour and just sprinkle it, uh, use, the, it use all of it, and, uh, and just sprinkle it in there. You want to scrape up the bot, you just want to kind of just keep scraping. And that's going to get all those meat pieces that fell in there, and it's just going to make this gravy so good. Let's add some chicken stock. And yeah, add all of that. I'm going to throw in some chopped tarragon and parsley, some salt and pepper. And then we're going to let this cook for about five minutes. And um, while that's cooking, we're going to get the squash out and show you how to do that. Okay. Squash is done. Um, this actually browned up a little bit more than I had planned, but we were drinking and talking and laughing. So yeah. it browned up a little bit more. So Ashley, all you have to do is just take that fork and start. This way? Or, well, your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kind of take that. See how it. See, I've never done this before. Look, and it just comes right out. Yeah. So 
that's all uh, that's all that takes the gravy is finished and um, I'm going to pour the brandy in here and then we're going to plate and see how everything tastes Sounds good. this is finished you cooked this I did. I'm quite proud very <laughs> proud <laughs> looks good our gravy turned out a little thinner than I wanted it to because when Ashley and I were cooking, I had her pour all the juices in at one time, and we should have done that a little bit slower. So on the written recipe, it will be correct, and it will be thicker, but I bet it still tastes good. You ready? Yes, okay. I am ready. Okay. I want the brandy gravy. That sauce is good. I mean, it's gravy, but I mean, it tastes good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No, it's very good. Mm, I love the spaghetti squash. I have to try some. It tastes good just like it is. No, it's great. I like it. No butter or anything. I mean, it tastes really good. This is a healthy meal. $10. Fancy enough for company. Great for an every night meal or a Sunday meal for the family. Healthy. Came in right at $10. And uh, it's good. It's very good. So, thank you for coming today. And this is another meal that you'll be able to go home and cook for your husband, right? He'll be very impressed. Very <laughs> impressed. Okay, cheers, and I will see you next week. She's still, 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 she's still,